Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we are going to get into a comparison of three daily planners that are very similar because they are really focused on goals. So I have a video about weekly planners that have a goal emphasis. So we're going to do this daily planner video with daily planners that have a goal emphasis. The three that I have just happen to all be in black bound books. So they're very similar in that manner too. One is the Panda Planner, one is the Prosper Planner, and one is the Phoenix Journal. All three of these have their own review videos also. So I'm not going to take you through each planner front to back because that would be a really long video. And so if you see one of these that you're interested in, I will link their individual videos below in the description box. And I also have a daily planners playlist that you can go to also if you're interested in more daily planners. But these are the three daily planners with a really big emphasis on goals. So let's first talk about the Panda Planner. All right. The Panda Planner uh, will not last you a whole year. I will say that right off. I have my sticky note to remind me. It actually lasts for about four months. However, they give you uh, six months, I believe, of monthly so that you have monthly view looking further ahead. But if you are using it every day, the daily pages are only going to last you about four months. Panda Planner, um, they give you some info in the front right here. So I would definitely suggest reading that and going to their website to find out more about how they recommend you use their planner because there are helpful tips on there. They're divided into three sections by your monthlies, your weeklies, and your dailies. So let's look at the monthly. This is undated, so you have to um, fill in your dates on this one. On every single box, you have an H. That is to denote the habit that you're working on that month. So you can check it off every day and have a full month view of that. And then at the top of your monthly, you have a focus and a habit that you're gonna write in. You have a note section on your monthly. You have a review of the month. This month's wins, insights gained. You have a plan for the month, this month's goals, and distractions to avoid. So that is what all your monthly spreads look like. And this is where you would write in the name of the month. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I was right. There's six months. And then you go into your weekly views. But like I said, that's just for looking ahead. This is only going to cover you four months and dailies. Then you have your weekly section. And I do want to note they have three ribbon markers, which is really nice because you will want to note, you know, put a ribbon at your month, at your week, and at the day you're on. So that's almost unnecessary with this planner, or you would have to have some sticky note tabs in there. All right, so your weekly view is a two-page spread right here, planning your upcoming week. First, you have a review of your last week, and here's where you can write in the dates. You have five big wins and how you'll improve. That's your review of last week. Then you have planning your upcoming week, things I will do to make this week great. You have personal, work, family, friends, and relationship. I'm looking forward to three things. Habits I'm focusing on developing two things. And learn something new. Passion project. And then you have four projects you're working on that week. And then you have five top goals that week. Of course, there are so many ways to use this. And you don't have to fill in you know, all four projects. You don't have to fill in five goals every week. It could be one. But this is how they lay out their weekly um, review of the last week and then planning this upcoming week. So then you have all these two-page weekly spreads. That's what you have. Then we have to get to our daily section. And they have your divider page there, just like the weekly. All right, your dailies are a two-page spread. You have a morning review. Here's your day and date. I am grateful for three things. I'm excited about three things. Your affirmation, your focus, your exercise for the day, 
your top priorities for the day. They give you five to be able to put in top priorities in those five boxes. Then you have your schedule for the day from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. to fill in. Then you have your task list for the day with tick off boxes. Then you have a notes box and you have an end of the day review. Today's wins and how I'll improve. And that is your day, every single day, a two page spread. And like I said, you have enough to last about four months. I think it's exactly 17 weeks. So that is the Panda Planner in a nutshell. All right, let's go into, and I should show you, it does come with a band and it does come with an accordion pocket that can hold a good amount of stuff and your band functions very well. Your book is, I know Panda Planner has a larger size too, I think really big, like eight and a half by 11. This is their smaller size and this is eight and a half by um, almost five and a half. So there you go. Okay, so that's our Panda Planner. Let's look at our Prosper Planner next. It is a little bit bigger than the Panda Planner. So if you set it on top, I know it's black on black, so it's hard to see, but this is how much bigger. It's about three quarters of an inch bigger there, and it's about three quarters of an inch bigger there too. And it is also a little bit thicker. Okay, so let's get into the Prosper Planner, and let me just tell you its complete measurements. It's nine by six. Okay. Prosper Planner does come with a pen loop, um, but you have to have the right size pen to be able to fit in it. I show that in the video about Prosper Planner. It does come with a band, which functions great. And it does come with an accordion pocket and some stickers in there. Okay, let's get into Prosper Planner. It also comes with three ribbons they are a little bit smaller ribbons, but something I like about them is they're three different colors. You have a gray, yellow, and black, and that is really nice because <laughs> you can like always use the yellow for your monthly, always use the gray for your weekly, you know, and so that really helps, I think. It's just a nice touch. All right, so Prosper Planner does have some scripture in it. They give you five reasons you will love the Prosper Planner. They say it's productivity, focus, simplicity, more space, and prevent burnout. I go a lot more into all this in my video about the Prosper Planner. Then they have several pages of how to use your Prosper Planner. I think that's really helpful because they're explaining, you know, from the developer standpoint, how they think that you would be using it the best productive way. And I think it's really helpful even if you don't take all their suggestions and you tweak it to fit your life, it's still really helpful to read those pages. Then they give you something which I also think is super helpful. They give you a sample planner entry. And so they're filling in a vision board for you and they're showing you um, what they might write in there. And I think having an example of this is very helpful, at least on my end. And then they show you an example of the monthly calendar, an example of your goals for the month page filled in. I think these pages are just wonderful to have in here, very helpful. Then they give you a sampling of your daily page right here, which is a two page spread and they have filled it all in for you. I love that. It is really helpful for me to read through all that. Then you have a weekly recap, new week preparation and they have filled all this in. So you can read this and see kind of how you could use each section and morph it to your life, to fit your life. Okay, then you have your years at a glance, but you have several years because this is an undated planner. So you have 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020. So they are very tiny, but they are on here if you need to find a date. All right, then all the sample pages they just showed you, then you start getting your pages to fill out. Your vision board page right here, you have that to fill out. And then you start into your monthly. Their monthly calendar is on the left side of the page. 
and then you have your goals for the month on the right side of the page. So this is just for one month. So, you know, scheduling appointments, you do have to write smaller, but the point of this planner is really goal setting and reaching those goals. So this way you can look and map that out and match up those tasks and your goals with this site. Okay, this is starting your two page daily spread that you have for every day. You have a morning gratitude. You have what three things must I accomplish today? Labeled one, two, three. Then you have win the morning and you will win the day. And so these are the times though, it starts at 4 a.m. and it goes all the way till 9 p.m. So they are putting this on here for really early risers. This is how to map out your day. What are you gonna be doing at all those hours? Family time moments for the day, something you wanna remember, maybe um, a special moment that happened that day. My three successes and my three failures for the day. Evening recap. Failing to plan is planning to fail. Fill out tomorrow's objectives today. Name one thing you must accomplish tomorrow. So at the end of the night, when you're filling in this evening recap, you're already thinking about tomorrow. As you're going through the day, you can fill in any ideas, thoughts, and musings, or anything you need to take notes on throughout the day. I would be writing my date and day up here pretty big. And then you have an evening gratitude. I love having gratitudes anywhere. So then you have all your daily spreads in here. Okay, so throughout the planner, when there has been your 30 days, you have another monthly calendar spread and you have another goals for the month. So there's kind of a big difference. Panda Planner has all your months up front and Prosper Planner has them interspersed. And then you go back into all your dailies in here. I don't think we went through the weekly recap page and the new week preparation. So let's go through that. Every seven days in here, you have this weekly recap and new week preparation. What were my three biggest success? What were my three biggest failures? My biggest takeaway from the week? New week preparation is this side. My three big goals for end of the new week. What will I do to improve this week? Review my vision board. Am I on track with my vision? Why or why not? And motivational quotes of the week. And room for three of those. Then at the very end of the planner, you have several notes pages which are just lined and labeled with notes at the top. I would say about 10 of those, a good chunk front and back of those. All right, so that is the Prosper Planner. This one is a three month. They have that right on the top of their tab. So I like that they advertise like that. It's a three month non-dated daily planner and journal. But the Prosper Planner is three months and both of these are non-dated daily planners. Okay, then you have the Phoenix Journal. It is nine inches by six and a half. Okay, the Phoenix Journal also has a pen loop, but you have to find the right kind of pen that would fit in it. I also show that in my video of the Phoenix Journal. So to me, neither one of these has a great um, pen loop, but if you can find a pen that fits in it well that you like to write with, then that's a bonus. Okay, and the Phoenix Journal was created with a single purpose to empower you to live to your full potential and achieve your dreams. And then they give you a lot of information. Um, we go through some of this in my video about the Phoenix Journal, but I would read all this if you are getting it. The importance of measurement, the importance of habits, the importance of rhythm, your commitment, how to use the Phoenix Journal, I think that is very helpful. Okay, then you have a vision of your future, and then to think about a future that you fear, future you don't wanna to happen to you because of your choices. Your three-year vision, your 12-week vision, and then you have goal one, goal two, goal three, and goal four, and this is for a 12 week period. So they have broken it down into a 12 week period and you have four main goals to focus on during that time. For every goal, you have key actions, you have progress outcome measurements, what sacrifices must I make in order to achieve this goal? How will my life improve when I achieve this goal? I will achieve this goal by and reward myself with. 
So that's your four goal pages. And then it starts right in week one targets, week two targets, week three targets, week four targets. So what are you working on that week? And then a one week period is laid out right here. So that's for, you know, four weeks, most months um, will fit on one page, but they continue you through the 12 week cycle. So week five targets, week six targets, week seven week, week eight, okay, nine, 10, 11, 12, because what you're doing is making your focus goals based on a 12 week period. Then it talks about your first week. So then you talk about what victories from the past week am I most proud of? What do I most need to improve upon? What am I most grateful for? What I will do to live the next week to the fullest? Relationships, work, personal education. Then you go into my goals for week one. So right now it's focusing on your week one. Goal one, two, three, four. Action habit. And then you have a check off from Monday through Saturday. This is your daily spread. Okay, so you have 5 a.m. to 8 p.m., your timeline for every day. You have key actions and outcomes. You have your focus. You have your grateful for. How can I help someone today? I love that question. A victory that I'm proud of. I love that one in daily too. And how will I improve? And then just a lot of room for notes, planning, or to-do lists, whatever you need to use that for. That is for every single day. That is your daily. So your weekly view is looking right here at your 12 weeks, meeting your targets, okay? Then you go into your first week planning based on those goals and targets. And then you have your first week of your seven daily pages, okay? Then you're gonna have like a recap of your week. The percentage of key actions that I ex executed last week, and then what will I do to live the next week to the fullest? And then my goals for week two. And you have the same page. Then you're going to go into your seven um, days of week two. Okay? So this is a 12-week journal. So it's going to be for uh, three months. So it's pretty similar in that the Prosper Planner lasts for three months. The Panda Planner lasts a little bit longer if I counted it right for four months. So this is going to last you for three months because it's a 12-week breakdown. All right, then when you get to the end, so your daily pages end right there. Then you have some notes pages, just a few. And then you have the percentage of key actions that I executed last week. That's your weekly wrap-up. Sorry, I just did a pen test right here, so it threw me off. And you just end with a weekly wrap-up. So there's really no other big wrap-up at the end of this one. Okay, here's a pen test in this Phoenix Journal. And I would say all these papers are pretty similar. You can see there's no horrible ghosting. For the price of these planners, which is not terribly expensive, you I think you get just the right... Um, quality of paper for the price. I don't think they're off anywhere. All the paper feels about the same. I would say if I had to pick the thickest, it would be the Panda Planner and then probably the Prosper Planner. Um, I definitely think the Phoenix Journal um, feels the thinnest out of them, but it's not terrible and there's not a huge difference. I will show you just real quick here that you have no major ghosting and no bleed through at all. And then let's do the Prosper Planner because that's where we didn't have a pen test. And we will write on one of these last pages. So I don't think any of these have super thin paper. Like I said, for the price, I think they're great. Um, it's nothing like a lot of Target planners, which I've seen that have super thin paper. Okay, so if you are ultra focused on getting some goals accomplished, uh, I hope this gave you some ideas about maybe a planner that might help you do that, or it might have helped you narrow it down or figure out what you may or may not like in that realm. All right, guys, happy planning. Until next time, bye-bye.